She's got a system they call apartheid. I think Nelson Mandela is one of the greatest enigmas of our time. He was a giant and every man. He was willing to die for the principle of freedom and dignity. He interrupts the most formal of ceremonies because he saw a kid standing there. Mariba calls him up there and says, what are you doing here and what's your name? And by the way, this is President Rawlings of Ghana. This is the sort of strange, wonderful, personal thing that he did. Mandela's great achievement, colossal achievement, was to persuade a whole country to change its mind. We have a flag, we have a national anthem. People identify themselves as South Africans. He is the great seducer, the great political seducer. I am a Yankee! That ability to make people feel that he was there, especially for them, it was a, a shrewd calculation. And politics can't do that. Speeches can't do that. Policy documents can't do that. He was really single-minded in the belief that he had a responsibility to take the country through to another place. When he learned by phone uh, that Chris Hani was assassinated, he became, if anything, more controlled. He asked the housekeeper where his breakfast was, all knowing that Chris Hani was just assassinated and the country was on the tipping point of civil war. He did not allow feelings to cloud what he knew he had to do as a leader. My name is David Motamai. It was an assumed identity. He was defined as a terrorist. The ANC says that they will target British communists. This shows what a typical terrorist organization it is. Mr. Thatcher thought it quite appropriate that he should be kept in prison for the rest of his life. I had a grandfather who was in prison, and uh, I really uh, hated him from the first instance we met. To be locked in a prison all those years would keep you going wonder whether you'd ever see freedom again. What that does to the soul. 27 years of horror. His mother died when he was in jail. My mother, she was my first friend. I think it's very hard for us to try and even comprehend how someone can go through the situations that this man went through in his life and be as forgiving His son would say, Daddy, why are, you, why are you leaving? Why can't you stay with us? And Mandela said, because there are millions of other children who need me. One of the things that he has hidden is the cost of what it took for him to become Nelson Mandela. We had no marriage, really. I always remember being in the press conference when he announced to us and the world that he was going to divorce Winnie Mandela were witnessing a moment of profound pain. He's a young lad who's grown up in very rural South Africa in a place that probably felt half a century behind anywhere else. And in the end, he made it all the way to the presidents of this country. I think that's a very optimistic story. These leaders can emerge. They can come from anywhere. He's shown to anybody who's willing to look and listen that anything is possible. Whoever answers the call to injustice can be a remarkable leader. He feared that people would see him as the messiah. When they call him a saint, he chuckles, because he knows he's not a saint. He's a human being like you and me. The world still has to reckon with Nelson Mandela and all his complexity. 